I want to offer a few ruler tips and to help you first to make a straight line and then I'll help you with the measuring as well. So the first one is to make a straight line. The first thing you're going to do is take your ruler. You're going to hold it in the hand you do not write with. So I am right handed which means I hold my pencil in my right hand. So I'm going to hold my ruler in my left hand. I'm going to make sure that my fingertips do not stick up on the edge that I'm drawing. So I'm going to keep my fingertips low and I'm going to spread them out because what sometimes happens with rulers is it wiggles and then your line's no longer straight. The next tip is you're going to make sure your fingers point on the edge that you're going to draw. So I'm going to draw on this side because this is the edge that my fingers are pointing to. I'm not going to draw on this edge because my hand's in my way. So my fingers are spread apart. My pencil is on the side that my fingers point to and my fingertips are not sticking up. And this is the easiest way to help you draw straight lines. Alright, I'm going to show it to you the wrong way just one time. This one, my fingers are pointing up. Ready? Oh no, my fingers are in the way. My fingers are really close together on this one. Oh no, my ruler's moving. And this one, I'm going to show you, I'm drawing on the wrong side. Oh no, my hand's in the way. So it just, again, your fingertips are spread out. You're drawing on the side that your fingertips point to. And I forgot one. You want to make sure your fingertips are in the middle, not on the edge, because that's going to make your ruler move too. So fingertips in the middle, not sticking up, and you're drawing on the side that your fingertips point. And that's going to help you make straight lines. And it also works if you're turning your ruler this way too. My fingertips are still pointing to this side. They're spread out as far as I can. And that's going to help me make my straight line. So that's helpful for making lines, but then I want to show you some things on the ruler. Now I happen to have a funky looking ruler here where my little figures move. On here I have different numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 on this side. This side is my side of inches. If I want to measure something and I want to make maybe a grid, I'm going to line up my ruler against a straight line. It could be a straight line that you already made or it could be the edge of your paper. My ruler happens to start here. So if you look really closely at my ruler, it actually doesn't start on the edge of my paper. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little dash tiny bit in. So I'm going to make sure my two, my dash starting in is not where I'm going to officially, I'm not going to make the edge where I officially start. I'm going to make the first dash where I start. And I'm going to put a little dash at all of my ones at all my inches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of my paper. So I'm going to line it up. I'm going to base it off the top of my paper to make sure it's straight. My zero line matches to the line I made. And I'm going to put a one, a little dash. Now I'm doing this with marker. You want to do this with pencil first. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do those tricks I just showed you. I'm going to spread out my fingers. I'm going to draw on the side that my fingers point to. And I'm going to make sure the top of my ruler lines up to the dash at the top and the bottom. And this is going to help me make perfectly straight lines that are evenly spaced out in case you need that for your project, depending what you're making. Now I used the inch lines on my ruler, but you also have half an inch lines on your ruler as well. So let me finish this and I'll show you what a half an inch looks like. I'm lining up the top and the bottom before I draw. It's really important to do it before you draw. And I know I did a good job with my measuring because I have the same line thickness here. I know I did good measuring because this is the same tiny bit on each side. Okay, so now the numbers pointed to your inch markers, but on here you also have something. Let's see if you can see it. This is a half inch marker. It's the next smallest line to the inch marker. The inch marker line is really big and this one's a half inch and it's the next smallest. And then I have something called quarter inches. So I have four quarters, so this is one, two, three, four, and that adds up to one inch. I have two halves, one, two, that adds up to one inch as well. And you want to be careful too, because on the other side of your ruler, 
Some of the rulers have centimeters and some of them have millimeters, so those numbers are closer together. So inches are a little bit bigger than centimeters. There's about two and a half, centi two and a half centimeters per inch. So you just want to be careful using your ruler and turning it upside down to make sure you stick with, just stay consistent. So you always want to either be using the inch side or the centimeter side. Alright, so those are some ruler tips for you.